Hi guys, it arrived. Yes, it arrived. The card reader for the MPC 2000 XL. But I'm going to install it into, yes, of course, the SP808. So let's check it out if it really works. If it works, it will be amazing. If it doesn't work, well, that would be a big bummer. But I'm used to those big bummers because I've tried so many things. I've tried so many things. But this one should work. Later on I will give you more uh, information about this. First let's open the package. Here we go. Hi guys, my name is Roger and in this video I'm going to talk about the Adonix Technologies IDE Compact Flash Reader. This one should be installed into the SP808 and regarding the, the, the specifications this one supports uh, well 40, 40 pin IDE it supports um, PO4 all PO modes and it also supports hot swap so hot swap means that without restarting the system you can put in a CF card and take it out and then um, you don't have to restart your system so guys I've tried this one IDE to compact flash I tried this one IDE to SATA data uh, compact flash I tried several options I combined the A6 firmware with the SP808 firmware then I came across this unit which was promoted on an MPC 2000 XL thread so I thought let's buy it and let's see if it works well to make a long story short no it does not work it does not work this is module I show it here this is the model from Adonix with IDE and compact flash but it doesn't work. First I thought it was due to my compact flash card which is a 4 gigabyte and a 16 gigabyte. I also tried a 1 gigabyte SD card or even smaller micro SD card. Well this is the adapter but with a 512 MB. I even tried, where is it? I got here this memory stick from Sony also an old one. This one doesn't work either. What happens when you connect? Well I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you. I will connect it now. Let me focus this one here. I connect it. So, okay, it's connected now. I'm going to turn on the 808. It does start. It does start. So that's 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 good news. There is no there's no problem with the system. So it does start. Wait a moment, keep power on. Okay, I'll wait a moment. But without having a memory card in it, you will notice directly that the screen is now blank and it will start now. It starts, but the sequence of this is way too slow. So there is a big delay in the function of the 808. I can choose an effect. I can use it now in standalone mode. I press the button and now it will take seconds before I can even choose an effect. Still not FX info. Yes, here it is. Now I want to turn the dial. Change? Yes, okay, change. Still nothing. Change. Now I can turn these knobs, but there is no. Uh, you you don't see it right, but there is no reaction. There is reaction, but with a wah, with a tremendous delay. So this is without even using compact flash card. So guys, it's a no go. It's a no go. This one from Adonix. It is. It sure works on an MPC 2000 XL, but it doesn't work with the SP808. If if somebody if somebody knows an answer to this please share it share it with us because um, 
I don't mind I don't mind using the zip drive but it would be nice if we can if we can have a solution for the zip drive so thank you for watching and we see each other next time thank you guys bye bye bye